next week I'm going to Brussels, which is the um, head, which is, you know, Brussels is basically the place where the European Parliament is, uh, the, where they run Europe from, it seems, and it's in the news nearly every day. And I'm going over there to see my old mate, Sky's the Limit. And, uh, you know, he works over there in the European Parliament, so um, I'm looking forward to being shown around. This may Steve, of course we will. Everybody, our old friend, Darwin's gift. I love the uh, little Jesus figurine there in the, <laughs> in, the, in the background. Steve, nice video, mate. Um, yeah, and we're looking forward to seeing you, of course, uh, next week. Right now, where I am, I'm in Bulgaria. We're gonna show you on a map where that is for anyone who doesn't know where it is. Yeah, and I've been trying to brush up on Bulgarian. Um, it's a difficult language, it, it is. Um, yeah, but anyway, so Varna in Bulgaria is where we are, and we of course had to catch up with our old friend as well, Gokster. So everybody, here we are again in Varna, and as you all know, no visit to Varna, Bulgaria is complete without a friend, or visit to my friend, he otherwise known as Gokster on the tubes. Yeah. <laughs> You're an atheist channel, uh, principally that's how we know you on the tubes, um, Gokster. Um, today everyone, um, we really might have had time to include it in the video, um, we went to the cathedral here, the uh, Bulgarian, it's obviously Eastern Orthodox Church, and I was lucky enough to be invited to a quite private thing, um, to uh, a baptism, a christening, and this family allowed me, I felt like uh, Louis Theroux, but they allowed me to, to film it. communist times everyone what you had is a situation where the church they weren't closed or suppressed it depended on what country in the behind the iron curtain but if you, you if you you had to be a, a card carrying a communist party member and that meant that you couldn't get a decent job in the public or civil service 
or promotions or whatever else if you were a church goer. So you could probably still go to church, but you, you would never sort of get on in life. You wouldn't get that. Is that, isn't that correct? That's correct, yeah. yeah. There is uh, only one concrete example so far. I know it's Albania who really followed Christian, or really followed priest and really killed priest. But I have for my knowledge only this uh, example of Albania who really did this. This happened, but uh, if you want to speak, really discuss with someone, take a person over 35, mm. 40 years old, and you will talk yeah. over everything. Well, I mean, that's one of the reasons I've come here for the second time, Guy, that it's, um, it sounds very grand and a journalistic role, but a fact-finding mission. And, of course, everyone, this, this is the man to talk to. He has the inside track. He, can, he knows everything, what's he can tell you what the dogs on the street are thinking. Um, he's the man to talk to. I'll leave links below. You need to talk to this guy. Besides his charming uh, atheist channels. Um, Better uh, you leave an email uh, that per people can contact me directly when they have... Uh, you, have to pay, you have to pay him for his time. Uh, concrete. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Nothing He's an expert <laughs> tour guide and that kind of thing. It's all about knowing. <laughs> I want to say to my regular subs, okay, an important thing as well, um, is that I started a new channel um, dealing with, as uh, Steve mentioned, or Darwin's gift, um, well, I, I've, what I've done is I've sort of split my channel because in recent times, you know, I didn't want to go around in circles the whole time and it's just all the, you know, the atheist arguments regardless of what we do. I've always taken a journalistic role in following up stories. Um, and sometimes it's very boring political, I know, or cultural or whatever, but something that not overtly um, atheism. In my travels, as a, in a journalistic role, I will always find something uh, to, 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 uh, to put in for my atheist subscribers, because that's why you fundamentally subscribe to me. Um, what I would say to you, see the link below. Uh, it's uh, a new channel called Calvin Reports. Um, if you are interested, and it's not all boring sort of politics overtly, and interviews, uh, cultural stuff, travel stuff, maybe an interview with a musician or whatever else like that, but just not overtly um, atheism per se, um, please check out the channel if you like, um, and subscribe. I'm, I can't oblige you to subscribe to the channel, but if you want to, I'd appreciate the support. Some of it's good stuff, it's juicy stuff, but just to be fair to my subs, if you subscribe to me for sort of ranting on and giving out about atheism stuff, stick on sky's the limit, um, I will continue to do that. Um, it's just that in that other genre, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, I don't want to be the BBC, but it tends to be a little bit more politically correct um, because I'm talking to uh, VIPs or politicians and stuff like that and, um, you know, they they don't necessarily like to be associated with me ranting on uh, on the tirade about how oh, I hate religion <laughs> and all it's responsible for. So uh, yeah, please do check it out below, have a look at it if you want. Um, I, I've put up some repeat videos of political stuff I do because I'm trying to get it established. Um, but some of you like that stuff and why not? Um, it's just, but I just thought really I needed to make a divide at this point because um, otherwise it, You'd be scratching your head and think, why am I subscribed to this guy? I'm not interested in politics or socio-political geopolitics or anything else like that. So I'm um, just giving you the option. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. And uh, please rate or subscribe or whatever. <laughs> and I'll see you, Darwin's Gift, in Brussels next week. Bye-bye, everyone. Cheerio. Anyway, listen, on that note, Guy, with Chin Chin, or as they say over here, Nostrave. Nostrave. <laughs> Good to see you again. Right? I will be back again. Probably soon. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a comment below if you like. And uh, God knows where we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.